G'day guys, welcome to Spaces Arcade. How about Zen actually showing us the real table, their real table, <laughs> with the uh, Pinball FX3 alongside it and, and, and showing the, the comparisons. And that would help us immensely in the community really assess the physics. The physics going, hey, can geez, Zen should really do that. So what did Zen do? <laughs> They did exactly that. They've now released a comparison video on video there. So that was a super surprise and it's amazing to look at. Um, it's a flipper tricks video. So I saw the video. I was super impressed. Um, and I thought, hmm, could we analyze this further? <laughs> could we look at this further? Now we have the footage between Real and Pimple FX3. So guys, this video, we are going to get stuck straight into doing a analysis and overlay. I've sliced up their video. I hope you don't mind Zen, I've taken your video footage and I've sliced it up. I put it over each other. I have lined up the flippers and I have done some slow motion assessments of the physics and the comparisons between <laughs> real and what Zen is doing because I want to be objective about it. Let's now dig into this video and um, analyze it down to the nth degree. Let's have a chat about it. I know on the forums, you know, fight, fight, fight. Live catch. Now let's let check out the live catch first. This is it in real time between the two versions now superimposed. Okay, well the first thing we see here is we've got a bit of a bounce on the real ball. We don't get that with the pinball FX on the flipper. The trajectory is going off is slightly different, but it looks like the release time is different on the edge of the flipper. There's definitely a bit more bounce there on the real pinball than there is on pinball FX. Um, and you can see it's just that's just different flipper. Uh, release time so I think the actual trajectory of the flipper is still probably good see those little bounces and this one boom just stops a little bit dead and flicks through and it's just quite unusual because when you look at some of the other flipper um, tricks the uh, the ball bounces sort of more than the real ball sometimes so I'm quite sure they dialed that in right drop catch okay this one's really interesting in that initially you just think wow that is so close even when you superimpose it like that you know what's happening here we've got yeah a little drop and wow they pretty much leave the flipper at the same time god knows how guys you did that and got the same shot so close <laughs> we did an amazing job slightly less bounce there coming in again um, which is interesting than the real ball we slow it right down. Um, wait for the ball to come in. Here we go. So it's hard to see again here. And of course, the way the flipper comes down as you, you know, you're catching that is going to make a difference as well. So very hard to determine the difference there, guys. Post pass. This one's interesting. I think the post pass. So yeah, I think this is this looks very bouncy. It's very. Um, you know, if you look at that real pinball there, it's quite shallow again. Um, the example they've done with pinball effects, they might have hit it a little bit too hard. It's hit the post and it's bounced off the flipper and then hit the other post. So it's a different sort of um, action. It could be just the flipper speed doing that. But one thing I find interesting here, if you look at the real ball, see this ball coming over, as it drops over, again that inertia, when it hits the other side, it sort of goes on a 10 degree angle and I don't know if there's that little bit of ball spin in there that's doing that, which we're not seeing with Pinball FX possible. Flick pass. I think this flick pass definitely shows the lack of ball spin. Uh, again, it might be just the angle of the way the flick pass has happened. It's a little bit higher on the Pinball FX one, but you see the ball come down. It's a lot faster on the real pinball, but as it comes down, watch this, the angle goes out at about 10. Watch that one, it goes up, bounces up and over. And I think that's again spin. I think that's again spin of the real ball as it's coming down, it's fast, gets a little flick over, a little bit of spin, 
hits the other flipper, bang, straight off to the right. But Pinball FX doesn't quite get that spin exactly right. But <laughs> again, guys, come on. I'm really, really, really getting down to the detail here because it's very, very good. But I can see that. It's a little of that little flick. I reckon these little flicks are very hard to do in, you know, I don't know what controller they use to do it. It's gone a little bit higher. It's definitely a different um, spin off that where Pinball FX doesn't show that spin. Create the separation. Okay, with this one, it's a little bit harder to see. We've got a couple of balls being juggled uh, on surface. It looks absolutely great. And again, very difficult to see what's going on here. If we slow it right down, uh, what's happening. Well, the actual real ball bounces off the side of that slingshot a little bit more than pinball effects. Again, I reckon that's a, to do with the weight of the ball. Inertia hitting the rubber and just bouncing off. Um, although, to be honest, it looks like that the pinball effects ball doesn't quite capture the rubber at the same sort of point. Very hard, of course, to duplicate the exact shot. They did an amazing job, really. Um, other than that, you know, again, this shot, I mean, this is incredible, guys, really, when you think about it. This is so close to what's happening on the real table. And we really don't have any reason to complain. I do, I do see, see that? There's a drop there that's just more with the, with the real ball. I think that, um, it's that sort of weight thing again. Create the over under. And this is something that I'd really like to perfect. <laughs> um, I can't really do this very well at all. Um, if we look at what's going on here, it's pretty hard to see with, uh, again, the double set of balls. Um, but we can see that, yep, there's more bounce again off the slingshot. Uh, from the real ball and the you know the height is a little bit more on the real ball this time around um, but yeah guys this is really hard to see get a nice little bounce I think the weight of the ball hitting the flipper there uh, really showed a difference Those physics, the flipper tricks, they're pretty damn good. And, you know, don't don't take it too seriously, my little comments and um, trying to pick out every tiny little bounce difference because <laughs> you're just not going to be able to dial that in, eh? Um, you know, there's differences in the in the power of the flippers. Um, who knows what could be going on there. The bottom line is it looks pretty accurate. I think the only thing is... I do feel there is a spin uh, aspect. It'd be nice to see the spin more on the ball um, and actually visually see it, you know, uh, as it happens. I think that was definitely visible on that pass over where it sort of went off on a 10 degree angle and and um, um, we had pinball uh, FX really sort of bounce just normally. But who knows? <laughs> Maybe that shot in real life would happen that way as well. I don't know, guys. Uh, all I know is that it's an amazing achievement, and hats off to the guys again at Zen. Uh, I'm impressed. I uh, hope you guys are too. And so until next time, I think um, I might play another game, but for that I'm going to need some coinage, and you know what that means. If you got a 20... Like a robot.